agenda for today is the following. So firstly, we will have a brief presentation about PTL Pro and you will see the, um, who we are and what we are doing, how we help uh, growers and researchers to be more effective in, um, in measuring food produce, their plants and uh, obtaining, of, uh, obtaining some data to, uh, to get ground for thinking. And also we will uh, consider three case studies where PTL Pro has been um, exploited and uh, some for, for specific tasks it helped to get literary measurement. We have three cases, case studies today. And then we will have time to demonstrate in real life mode. That's why I have my phone. And you see on the top of the screen, uh, the PTO team, it's actually my phone, who will uh, help us to demonstrate how PTO Pro works in real life circumstances. Okay, so let's go and move on to the next, to the next slide. So, uh, thank you, Tony, for finding time today to be with us. So I mm, explained a little bit about PTL Pro, and now I'm uh, telling about our goals, what, why we are doing what we are doing, and why we are uh, providing the tools for um, sp uh, smart agriculture for uh, precision data collection. Because uh, first of all, we see the clear vision how it can help with the global goals which are ahead of us. And second thing is that we are supported in our journey, so we are not alone when we are speaking about democratization of access to the uh, tools for plant phenotyping and quality assurance for smallholder farmers and medium-sized holder farmers. It's all about the people who are supporting us in our attempts to do this on global level. And if we are speaking about the real life examples, what exactly we are doing, it's quite a lot. And that's why it was my challenge to put all our uh, possibilities, our technical uh, opportunities in one place, in one slide. So I just made this collage to show you that with smartphone we can do almost everything which is possible to do with eyes but it doesn't mean that we are switching human to some smartphone no we use a smartphone as a tool to support humans to support people in their work and that's why on this slide you can see the clear examples where in which tasks the PTO Pro mobile app can be helpful and support specific tasks uh, done by researchers, uh, explorers, growers, various uh, groups of people who need plant data. Also, I would like to highlight that um, our most valuable asset is our reputation at PTO Pro. And we we have some some other guest. Oh, it's Tadessa. Well, hello, Tadessa. Nice to see you. Thank you for joining us today. We have quite small circle of people. Uh, uh, hello. Okay. Hello, hello. Yes, we can hear you. Nice okay. to see you, Tadessa. Uh, hello, sorry. Uh, okay, I'm already. Uh, okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Yes, yes, no worries, Tades. And we have Naomi. Yes, Naomi also is joining us. Hello, Naomi. Thank you so much for, for your time today to join us. I have already started the, the, the presentation. So briefly, uh, our agenda will be now presentation, then three case studies also briefly, and then we will have live demonstration and I will measure everything with PTO Pro. But let's just continue on this slide. I hope you all see my slides. But if not, please let me know and I will just try to uh, make it happen to, and visible for you. So regarding the specifics, what is unique about us and uh, about PTL Pro, it's our reputation. So it's based on the 95 research papers which we have been quoted. 
I mean, the scientists, they are using our mobile app and then they uh, put a sentence into their research paper and they said, like, we measured Liferia with PTOL Pro. And the main thing about that is that we don't know all these scientists. We don't know who is citing us and when they are citing it and when they plan to do it or have already done it. It's just our internal investigation through Google Scholar. And this is how we found 95 research papers. So maybe we have more of them. The only thing we don't know exactly because we are not paying for this. So it's just volunteer act from scientists who would like to spread the word about the, uh, the, the tool which was helpful to them. And we are proud of this. Also, we have uh, successfully accomplished the project which was funded by the UK government. So last year we had a project in Kenya. Uh, probably uh, it's one of the most challenging pests in, in Kenya is uh, false codling moss. And the problem of this pest is that um, it has various hosts. So over than 70 plants can be the host of this uh, of this pest and also it's quite adaptive so uh, coming to the new area it's adaptating and it can go further than just these 70 plants that's why uh, this pest is in quarantine mode for other areas of uh, the world so this pest is of now uh, has uh, his location only in uh, sub-Saharan Africa and other countries, they have very strict measures on the border control when any shipment of fruits and vegetables are coming because of this pest. And that's why we were helping local Kenyan farmers who grow chili pepper and we help them to um, with early stage detection and monitoring of false codling moths. Because obviously, as of now, they have as much as their own eyes. They don't have anything else. And our task, as I said, is about the bringing the smartphone as an extra tool, as a helper for their routine jobs. So they can uh, rely not just only for their eyes, or the eyes and the um, uh, skills of their employees, but also they can uh, involve digital technologies and work with uh, such promoted thing like artificial intelligence, which will help them to grow. So we have developed the artificial intelligence based tool for early stage detection and monitoring of false codling moss in chili peppers. And now we are on the stage when we are moving to other crops. So uh, hopefully soon you will see the announcement of um, how it can help. Also, uh, regarding the next... Uh, oh yeah, and I forgot, yes, all our designs, they are unique and we have our uh, designs based on the uh, patents which we obtained which we obtained uh, at the, the patent agencies. Yes, I see that now, yeah, probably I needed to change slide earlier. And this is the brief explanations of our case study about false codling moth. And uh, just give me a second. Yes, and now uh, you can see the map of PTOL Pro um, innovation, let's say. So it's all about the countries. Um, which have scientists from these countries have published their research papers and referenced PTL Pro as their tool for uh, leaf area measurement as well as leaf greenness measurement. And also we built based on these research papers, which I mentioned, 95 research papers, we have built the map of PTL uh, crops and also a map of PTL, uh, sorry, some technical issue yeah, here. So it's not just crops, but it also plants. And this is very important for us that uh, our mobile application helps not just with food produce, sorry, not just with food produce, but also with 
uh, plants uh, which are serving us for other purposes like uh, ornamentals, medicinal plants and uh, Petiol has been involved in uh, ecological research and environmental monitoring projects. Also, uh, when highlighting how we can help specifically, um, we have three stages where we found the most valuable solutions for researchers and growers. It's about first stage starting from seed until the uh, production. It's the plant phenotyping, so anything regarding measurements, it can be uh, done using PTL Pro. And also uh, everything which is related with, about count and about the color of food, food produced or plant or any plant organ. So um, qualitative and quantitative data about plants, are, it's possible to, to, to get it using our mobile app. And then when it's already harvest stage, either pre-harvest or post-harvest, it's possible to uh, assess um, fruits, vegetables, whatever you are producing uh, using mobile application as well. And there are lots of specific tasks which can be done with, uh, with PTL Pro. Currently, and we slowly go to the, the, the fact that I will show you soon, um, currently we have these modules and they can be exploited in, um, in any type of project regarding plants and you can get all this measurement if you will download a mobile app PTL Pro now and it's already ready to use. Uh, sorry, just some technical issue with my... Probably he's a little bit nervous, I don't know. <laughs> and then I also wanted to show you um, that PTL Pro opportunities are extracted from just one photos. So in this example, I wanted to show you how the wheat leaves uh, captured when you have taken a photo of wheat leaves with our calibrating plate and then you um, have this uh, photo in your phone and you can upload it into smartphone app PTL Pro and you will get as many data uh, as much data as possible for example uh, the first data point is leaf area. The second data point is leaf length and leaf width. You can measure it exactly from the same place. And finally, you can go to the next tab of the screen and get the leaf uh, greenness analysis and understand the change of nitrogen status of the plant. Uh, Yes, then I also wanted to highlight that we still have uh, video instructions how to work with PTL Pro. And uh, we do our best to record as much uh, information about using PTL Pro and educational videos, how to make correct measurements as possible. And I hope this webinar will also go to the same place and you will see it on the YouTube channel, on PTL Pro YouTube channel. But meanwhile, it's always possible to go to our webs, web channel and uh, check the instruction if you have any, um, any thoughts how to do it correctly. Additionally, I want to highlight that our list of scientific re uh, research uh, citations um, is available online, so it's possible to get it and see all 95 research papers and find the relevant which is good for you and for your research. Uh, also, we have quite frequent questions regarding the accuracy of our mobile application. And I must say that um, we have tried by ourselves, but also we have um, specific research papers. I remember two or three of them are focused exactly on comparison of PTL Pro measurements with measurements uh, done by leaf handheld areometer as well as it was liquor uh, liquor handheld areometer as well as planimeter and the accuracy of leaf uh, leaf areometer measurements uh, is the same as PTL Pro and but the scientists highlighted that 
usability and experience of using PTL Pro in field condition when you are just in the middle of nowhere and you need to measure some either food produce or leaf area, it's much higher because it's on smartphone and you don't need any, any, any extra tool or anything else. You just have your smartphone calibrating plate and that's it. So, uh, and you will see how it works in a few minutes just actually. And also I want to highlight that we have regular webinars. And for example, today we have now specifically about PTL Pro in wide applications, but um, in, in uh, two weeks, we will have a webinar specified PTL Pro Africa. And it will be the webinar specifically for people who live in Africa and who are interested in research of uh, crops and plants grown locally. As well as on the 25th of March, we will have uh, a webinar with Tadesse and we will explore more the we trust and how to uh, detect and monitor any early signs of this uh, disease uh, on wheat. So, yeah, we always uh, invite everyone to join us and specifically if you uh, work with uh, wheat, so please join us. And now, yes, finally we go to more practical and more um, specific things. So firstly, about our case studies. As I mentioned, we have published in uh, mention of PTL Pro and citation of PTL Pro has been published in uh, different uh, research papers. And one of them was published uh, two years ago by Canadian scientists. They were doing research uh, on alfalfa. They, were, uh, they are plant breeders and they were trying to um, achieve the highest level of uh, drought tolerance and um, salt tolerance resistance in the alfalfa crops. And as you see, this research paper has been published in, um, in Frontiers in Plant Science. And this is uh, the top journal, top scientific journal for plant science in the world. And our PTL Pro has been clearly mentioned over there. So we are proud of this. And, oh, we have someone else. So let's admit Tom. Nice to, nice to see you, Tom, and uh, welcome to our webinar. Uh, we have done half of it, but anyway, we will be very happy to, uh, to, to continue. And now I'm talking about the case studies, how PTL Pro helped Canadian scientists to measure uh, leaf area of alfalfa when they were trying to breed the better, uh, the better variety of alfalfa for uh, draw resistance and salt resistance because uh, actually they are focused mainly on this uh, climate change adaptation of crops and uh, it's not their first paper it's the second or third paper when they were using PTL Pro for their uh, research needs at the same time why this research paper because it's reputationally one of the most achievable for, for us. It's published in Frontiers in Plant Science. That's why it's uh, the top one in the all plant science uh, journals in the world. Anyway, we also have another very interesting case study. It was not published in Frontiers in Plant Science, but it was still published in um, well-reputed and well-known journal Environmental and Experimental Botany and it was uh, actually based on the uh, research of uh, Spanish uh, scientists and they were doing research of tomatoes. So again, um, at that stage when they were publishing this research paper, we had only uh, our main functionality was leaf area. So that's why they were just uh, using this tool, leaf area meter, to measure leaves of their, um, of their seedlings and then they uh, tried to demonstrate using this data. So they had control plants and they had the plants which were uh, pre-soaked uh, with uh, menadoin sodium bisulfate. And using this data which they get with PTL Pro 
they were able to compare the results of their experiment. And this is one of the examples how the most frequent uh, application of PTL Pro is when the researchers have the comparison to make and they need to uh, prove that they are correct. It's very easy to see, let's say, if you have smaller plant and bigger plant, but if you need to understand what is percentage of growth better than in, in control plant, it's always about specific measurements, specific centimeters, square centimeters, and we are happy that now PTL Pro has even wider, um, wider opportunities to help and wider toolkit to help. So we can help not just with leaf area, but also with leaf greenness and with length of leaf, width of leaf, diameter of fruit, and many other opportunities which are derived from the uh, dig digital ruler uh, and digital leaf area meter. Uh, device. Uh, so this was the second one. And the third one is the research paper, which is not an article, but it was a master's degree work. This master's degree work was published by the scientist, young scientists, uh, at the Wageningen Research and University. Again, it's, uh, we were delighted to find this because Wageningen Research and University is number one agriculture university in the world. And um, we were happy to see these nice photos when, as you see on the left-hand side of this screenshot, you can see the, uh, the leaf and our mobile app was clearly uh, deployed to measure this leaf. So actually, um, this is the opportunity um, which our mobile app brings to rural areas because the research was uh, based on actually Ecuador. And that's why, um, however, the researcher was uh, originally from uh, Wageningen Research University, but his uh, data collection and all focus of cacao uh, growers was in Ecuador. And that's why um, he deployed our mobile application for data collection because our mobile app works offline. It doesn't require any cloud connection for this task of Leferia measurement. And you can go to the woods, to the field, whatever you need to measure and just measure it. And um, it will not be a headache to get measurements because we don't need any mobile access or anything else. We have one more uh, visitor. Yes, yes, Calvin, nice to see you today. Thank you for attending our webinar. Uh, we almost have finished our, uh, our presentation and now we will go to the practical demonstration of what we have uh, in our PTL Pro. And just let's see, am I right that it's the last slide? Yes, so I am right. So that's good. Uh, on this point, we finished the theoretical part and I will show you some practical part. Practical part will be about First of all, about PTL Pro. So now I will share the screen of this mobile app with you. And uh, just give me a second. And then I will show you, uh, share the screen. Continue. So hopefully the technical magic will happen now. And you are sharing the screen. Oh yeah, I see it. So I hope you also see it uh, clearly. Uh, and now we will just go through each part of the PTL Pro. Now I will uh, switch on the mobile app. So this is, but maybe I will demonstrate to you, yes, that will be even better when I just log off. So when you will uh, download PTL Pro initially, and you will go to PTL Pro. You will have this screen as your first one, first step where to go. What do you need to do? Just uh, if you don't have account yet, you need to sign in. The, the thing that I have account, so but anyway, I will show you. Yes, and then you will have a choice of your 
uh, available accounts on your Android device. Please choose the most convenient for you. So it can be your personal email, it's absolutely fine. Or it can be your working email, it's absolutely fine as well. So the main thing, it will be good for you. So all you need to do is just choose the account and then you are in. You, are, uh, you, you have created your account at PTL Pro and now you can use the, uh, the, the modules of PTL Pro. So let's check what's here. First of all, here we have our uh, first screen and we have here the leaf area analysis, which includes two uh, possibilities. You can measure leaf area using photo or you can measure area in live mode. Um, frankly speaking, the difference is that um, it's, it's the feedback from our, um, our community of researchers that live mode is uh, helpful when you have dozens and hundreds of leaves. For example, we had one research paper, um, as I remember it's published by Swiss uh, scientists, and they were measuring 200 leaves. So probably it's more uh, convenient to use live mode for 200 or 300 or I don't know, huge numbers. But if you have 10 leaves and you are pretty flexible to make these photos, then we recommend to use photo mode. But let's go down. So then you also see the uh, soybean nodules. So it, it can be a separate webinar and I probably will make it about soybean nodules and how we measure, so uh, how we count soybean nodules and why, because it's very important aspect for nitrogen fixation and this um, module is is important not just okay we will uh, allow one more person yes uh, Ernest nice to see you and thank you for joining us we are exactly on the stage and I am demonstrating how PTO Pro works so hopefully you will find this helpful as well so um, we have this soybean nodules module uh, and this module can help um, count soybean nodules on roots. Um, then you need, uh, oh yeah, this is one of our invitation. We have um, an initiative with uh, Citrus uh, work and Citrus quality assurance. So if you work with uh, any type of Citrus, AZ orange or lime or lemon or grapefruit or whatever you work with, Please join our waitlist because we are creating the focus group where we will deliver specific solution for only this type of uh, food produce and it will be possible to get better testing version and uh, further uh, benefits of this. Oh, sorry, I, I went back to my, uh, to my uh, gallery. Yes, this is after this invitation to... Uh, Citrus color index, we have gallery. So what is gallery? Gallery is actually the, um, the photos, the, the measurements, which you have saved in your phone in previous experiences. For example, you can see here my gallery of various measurements which I have taken, and we have data uh, like very early stages, like November 23rd, and it's still here, and um, it's, it's just very convenient to use it when you need it and come back. It creates some historical uh, traction of your measurements. So, for example, if you need to have some log file or, let's say, history of your measurements, the gallery can serve as one of the supporting tools for you. Okay, so we browse down and now we will go to the right. So below you see your own, um, your own avatar. This will be the avatar which is um, attached to your account of uh, Google. So we are not working with avatars too much. It's just what you put into your account. That's it. Then you also see the version of uh, PTL Pro and 
this is important to know the version because we are regularly updating mobile app and some new functionalities uh, are available in a newer version. So that's why we are um, inviting everyone to update, go to Google Play and update uh, mobile app on a regular basis. Then the next uh, tab here is our home tab and we have uh, explained it what's over there. The next tab is library. It's one of the uh, useful and quick access tools within the PTO Pro and I can show you how it works uh, how it works later but it just simplifies the work with leaf area measurement in just one touch when you are touching over here and you are uploading photo and you are measuring the leaf. But uh, I will not focus now, I'll just try to uh, have a quick quick look on everything. Then after library here, we have the next uh, tab, which is called catalog. So uh, basically uh, catalog is about our previous, uh, previous versions of PTO and about some technical support which you can get. For example, calibrating plates. It's called calibrating pads here, but it's the same plates or pads. It's all about this, this calibrating plates, which you need to have next to your leaves, or if you have small leaves, you can put leaves on it, and then you can just uh, do measurements. Without this calibrating plate, you cannot measure leaf area accurately. This is the point that this calibrating plate, it provides the reassurance that you are measuring correctly and that you uh, will get the accurate result because we are here to get the accurate data. It's not just about the doing something without reference. This is the reference which has to be included on the photo. Then we have here below PTO Legacy. As I mentioned, it's all our previous versions of um, PTO when we had a slightly different calibrating plates and also um, we still have people who are using it and when we just remove it out of the mobile app, they, these people contacted us and asked to return back those old modules because they found that very good fit for their specific plants uh, is quite in-depth biological research. So we returned it back and it's available in uh, PTL Legacy. Uh, also, uh, it's, it's our actually all mod old modules leaf area, so you can try it, uh, whatever you want. It's all modules for leaf greenness, but also I want to highlight this. Uh, we have the foundation part, which helps you to uh, get some technical understanding is your uh, photo correct for measurement or not. I will not dive too, too much deep here because it's quite advanced level, but I want to show you the real application of how PTO Pro works now. So, uh, again, reminder, you have calibrating plate. Uh, at the same time, I want to show you that we have this calibrating plate, you see, it has eight markers. And these all eight markers, they must be visible during the uh, data capture. So uh, you need to be sure that uh, your leaves are not covering, or the leaves or any other food produce is not covering any of these markers because you will be able still to get measurement. You will, be see, you will see the number, but the problem is that it will not be accurate enough. And that's why we ask to keep this all eight markers visible. At the same time, if you need to measure leaf greenness, uh, greenness requires extra uh, reference. As you see, these are leaf greenness markers. So basically it's the same plate, but we attached two more markers over there. And in, in the mobile app here, if you go to catalog, it's the third tab, and mm, press the button DIY here, 
you will see the available calibrating plates. I will show you the first one here. You just print it out on any printer in 100% scale. So don't make it smaller or bigger because then it will be not correct uh, result. But you will get it, you will either cut like this or just use as it is in, in uh, normal, ordinary A4 paper. This is uh, the calibrating plate, which is basic, and it will help you to measure leaf area as well as length of the leaf, uh, width of leaf, diameter of fruit, uh, size of seed, or what, whatever you need to measure using a digital leaf area meter or digital ruler inside PTO. It's all about this calibrating plate. But if you need to measure greenness, and that, that, that this is the point which I wanted to tell you, you need to have calibrating plate which is different. We place this calibrating plate here, but um, it's very rare. We can't say how many, um, what is the opportunity that you will get accurate green color on printing this calibrating plate on ordinary printer. What we discovered after printing this calibrating plate on ordinary printers in five uh, various, uh, from five various producers, HP, Canon and other producers, they all produce different green color. But this is unfortunately not acceptable. It's not acceptable because then smartphone uh, it doesn't understand what's going on and it provides not correct uh, index of greenness. And uh, you still can measure. Yes, you still can measure uh, and you can uh, see the relative, um, relative proportion between changes. So you can see that the nitrogen status is either growing or going down and uh, you just see the change of number. At the same time, it's not possible uh, correctly to um, apply for the real amount of chlorophyll in the leaf because it will not be uh, the, the correct data which is um, captured by the wrong uh, calibrating plate. And that's why we uh, offer, if you uh, want to buy it, we have uh, them on sale. We have our website, our PTO Pro store, where you can buy it. But if you are not able to buy it, we provide it for uh, for free for researchers, for scientists. We provide these calibrating plates for free. So let me know if you need them. And finally, uh, yes, we also have here the uh, different... Um, yeah, here we have slightly different version. It's quality uh, check for leaf area measurement. So you can just make a photo of this plate and upload in, it in PTL Pro. And let's say if this circle is 12.57, uh, you can check. Is the PTL Pro measuring correctly or not? So it's just uh, extra, extra double check. And final bit, it's about this calibrating plate. Actually, this is improved version of this one. So they work in the same manner. The only thing that this is more practically convenient, let's say it's small, it fits any pocket or any uh, bag. And uh, yeah, we are also selling this calibrating plate. But you can use this calibrating plate with the same success and the accuracy will be the same. Okay, now it's enough to speak about everything let's show let's show some nice things so let's go back to our uh, our leaf area measurement and now what we will have we will have real leaves so let's start for example i will have i had prepared some leaves here so we have roses so this is a rose leaf and this another rose leaf i will demonstrate you that it's possible you, you have your calibrating plate, or I will show you this one, just to make everything as simple as possible. You see, you, you printed it on your printer, now you have your calibrating plate. All you need to do, if the leaf fits the calibrating plate, just put it on. 
If not, you can place it next to the calibrating plate and make a photo. I will try to demonstrate it now. So, where is my camera? It is here. I hope you see the, the leaves. Yes. And yes, make sure that no of um, any any of the markers is covered. So just make sure. And yes, I see some shades. So shades are always challenging. Try to make sure that there are not strong shades. For example, if you are outside, uh, please uh, make photo in your own shade when the color of um, of calibrating plate and you where you are covering everything uh, and it will be the same light level and it will not be uh, very strongly uh, biased let's say okay and then you see our our leaves here so let's start with this one all you need to do ah uh, yeah I will probably I was too quick sorry <laughs> Because I do it regularly. I mean, you need to press photo. Then you see all the photos which I, I captured in, in a few days. Then you need to choose the photo which we have just captured. That's it. You can see the uh, algorithm has uh, processed our, uh, our plant. And now we can touch the screen. And you see the leaf. And you can touch it here on the thumbnail and you can see the uh, enlarged leaf and then if you need to uh, so you can see the leaf area 15.04 uh, perimeter if you need also is available you can save it here you see the sign save and also when you uh, touched here and you can see that enlarged leaf is appearing on the screen if you wish to measure length of leaf you touch it one and you touch it twice and you get the distance between the two dots and you can see it's uh, 5.3 and if you need to measure the width of leaf here it is it's four centimeters and if you need to close this and work with the other leaf, as I mentioned, you see it's not, yeah, we can close here as well. It's not on the plate because let's say it's quite big, but it's uh, further. And here we can do the same. So we are touching here. Yes, shades are not very, uh, not very good here. We see extra bits which has been um, taken. So we also have an opportunity to see, uh, to use a different algorithm. It calls segmentation algorithm. And this segmentation algorithm can uh, improve the, 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 um, uh, how the leaf is separated from the background. So let's use another segmentation algorithm, HSVC, here. Let's try again. So now we had 32.4 uh, square centimeters for this, for this leaf. It seems like a little bit better, yes. So we can do the same. We can use uh, measure uh, lens and width. So, and yes, we can save it. So one more time, just to demonstrate you the difference in between the two, al two segmentation algorithms. Here is the threshold algorithm. And you see the leaf area is 33.82. But then when you are selecting a different algorithm, it's now 32.4. And yes, you can save this. And also you can save, save this one as well. And um, then you can go, press here. And go to your gallery, as I mentioned to you, gallery is very good and helpful. So here you see your measurements. You can see all the measurements which we captured today and which we saved today. And then you can just compare 
and based on this you can you can see what what is better for you and select the most appropriate algorithm which helps you to get better data i see we have 12 minutes left i don't want to take a lot of your time for any extra so now we will go to the next measurement and i will show you how to measure uh, greenness so for example we have these letters it's nice letters first of all we can select the leaf um, and then we uh, can again just a reminder that for greenness we need to have these two markers greenness markers it's greenness standards and benchmarks let's say which are used by the mobile app so we need to have uh, them visible for uh, f during uh, the taking when, when we are taking the photo and then uh, we will be able to process it so let's do it um, here we have our calibrating plate and let's check how about the leaf it seems like it's quite big and we will cover some of the yeah we, we can do best and fit it but anyway i will show you when the leaf will be lying next to the calibrating plate just to demonstrate that it's still okay to have it next to the calibrating plate so now again i am switching on to my uh, smartphone camera yes and here we have our our leaf everything is here we're trying to make it a flat and nice okay let's make a photo yes here is the photo we go back to PTO now just go out of this module and we are pressing photo here is our photo and we are selecting the um, lettuce leaf here you see the segmentation is quite um, fragmented so it's not absolutely absolutely visible still still you have you can measure let's say the width of the leaf you see it's possible to measure and then you can still measure the length of the leaf 11.6 at the same time probably visually uh, it's not appealing and that's why we may try a different module oh we have someone else Yes, hello Mohammed. Nice to see you. Thank you for joining us. We have ten more minutes, and I'm sure it will be. Thank you so much. Sorry. I said thank you so much. Okay. I have I just seen your uh, link recently in LinkedIn. Then I yes. opened that link, and here is the thank meeting. You. I think meeting comes to an end. Nine minutes remaining. Yeah, that's okay. Don't worry. It's okay. We have a very friendly style of our webinar. So we have uh, just, I, I, I delivered presentation. Now I show how we measure leaf area of letters using PTO Pro. So I hope this 10 minutes will be helpful for you as well. And maybe discovery, you will have some discovery. Uh, okay, exactly. So, so as you see, this, uh, this image is quite fragmented. So we can go to the difference. Uh, to the different um, segmentation module and check maybe this one this is a little bit better let's say here so you can see here the leaf area is 103.47 square centimeters and also we see the perimeter again we can measure the lens and lens uh, and width and any other parameter which you need uh, maybe like that so just remember first dot and the second dot and that's it and you get your measurement which you need but also yes and we can save it obviously but also i want to, to to show you about greenness because we have taken our measurement using greenness uh, calibrating plate so uh, here you see the two tabs area and greenness so press greenness now you see the photo and you can touch that piece of uh, of the leaf which you need to use as a point for measurement because as you know uh, it's just a brief uh, description even when you are using spad it's measuring just a very tiny piece uh, for, for greenness so it's not that if you are measuring leaf, uh, leaf greenness with spad it will say you the uh, level of 
nitrogen in all plants. No, it's all about the very tiny area where the beam is touching the leaf in spot. But in our case, we are doing the same digitally. So instead of beam, we have our uh, square. And as you see, I am touching in different locations and we can save this measurement. Uh, it's called DG, DGCI, so a dark green color index. And here is the, um, the brief explanation about this type of indexes for uh, measuring and assessing nitrogen status. At the same time, there are lots of research papers. And if you wish, I can share them with you uh, when you can understand more uh, and in more depth uh, how does it work and how it helps in various food production and food research, uh, plant research uh, projects. So um, regarding the square, it can be changed for larger one. So we have this functionality. And if you can press on this uh, settings button, you see the small, medium and large size of the square. So all you need to have is to save, uh, Save the setting, uh, medium, save, and then you touch here, again, save the measurement. And uh, you will see, you already probably see that the numbers are different. Why different? Because the area is increased, the area of capture, which is uh, collected for greenness assessment, is larger. And that's why the results, it's very... Um, unusual when it's the same result for larger and larger capture of uh, uh, leaf of a piece of leaf because actually in the nature there is no stable let's say color on on the same area of uh, of a leaf so that's why uh, we, we we are calculating everything based on this approach and yes that definitely we have deep mathematics behind this but i mean that it's all about the capturing the larger area of greenness. Uh, and here we have selected the large. And now we see even larger square. And again, the DGCI index is uh, growing as well because we are capturing larger. And then we go back to our gallery. Gallery is our favorite place today. And here you see. So this was the, um, the savings which I got with with our leaf area measurement, then uh, yes, leaf area measurement are separately saved. So uh, when you want to have greenness, you need to touch greenness and then you will see the greenness here and how the EGCI is changed. And also here you can see it's possible to copy it and uh, share it. At the same time, we work on the data management now. So we try to make it more convenient for you to get some analytics um, based on your measurements. Okay, it's not enough for us. We will have now more, something more, and we will measure apple. Because I understand that leaves are good, but let's let's work also with something more, uh, more tangible, let's say. So we have ordinary apple and also, or maybe I even show you, because I see that time is flying and we don't have a lot of time. And I will also show you one apple and one tomato. Or maybe even not one, but two. And I will set up them all together. And you will see, now we are opening our mobile app uh, camera. And, oh yeah, I see this very uh, deep shades. As I mentioned, shades are not very good for, uh, for measuring because shades create in some... Uh, inaccuracies but anyway for our uh, for our case just to demonstrate to you i will make photo as it is and back to our mobile app here we have our uh, apple oh sorry not greenness we need area yeah here we have our apple and as i said <laughs> you see the, the camera captured not just apple but also the the shade and the algorithm thought that it's a part of the apple, but we can go to a different algorithm, uh, segmentation algorithm number two, HSP. Yes, this is better, I think. Here you are. 
as you see, you can see this apple and now you can measure it. So here we have our diameter, which is 3.5 centimeters. And again, you can just enlarge it by your touch. And if you need to measure anything else, we will cut it now so it will be possible. And let's go to tomatoes. So tomatoes are also, uh, let's check about the, it was HSV already. Okay, you see for tomatoes we don't have uh, this a little bit extra, but we still can measure, even with this extra shade, we can measure the length and the width. Diameter, it's two centimeters, so it's quite pretty small, let's say, and three and three point centimeters for um, for the length of them. And now we will cut them to make some fun, and we will save everything then to show you in the gallery. So we will cut them. Um, just give me a second. So here we have a knife to show you how it works. And maybe we will be lucky to have seeds, so we will be, oh yeah, yeah, we have seeds, so here you see the apple, and we cut it, and we have some seeds inside, so, and maybe even try to cut the uh, tomato as well, here you are, tomato, and let's make a photo of this, now, yeah, I know that I'm taking uh, a little bit extra time, but I want just to share this with you and then probably we will finish. Okay, so uh, I wanted one more final bit, but okay, I will show you this. Let's quickly, quickly go back to PTL Pro. Now we use our, again, press here and here is the photo. Again, we have, let's say here is, why not working? Oh, here at least. Uh, the, the tomatoes, but I offer you to go straight to the second. Hmm, the second is not okay. Let's just use this photo. So, here you see two of our uh, pieces of apple, and what we can do now, we can still measure them. So, even when they are in, in this, uh, they are not separated, but at least they are segmented. So when the image is segmented, we can measure it. And here is, uh, let's say, here we can measure like that. And even seed, you see the seed is two and two centimeters. So uh, it's possible to use um, digital ruler inside PTL Pro for any type of measurement uh, of fruits. And let's do the same for... Um, second I will close it here and then let's have um, tomatoes again a little bit shade but meanwhile we can measure it so you can measure this and this and even small seed 0 0.4 centimeters you can measure and maybe the second one yes it's possible to measure this one as well and finally um, yeah I see that I am taking I, I'd like to take you Five, five more minutes probably, but I want to show you how PTL Pro helped with non-destructive measurement because as of now you saw everything which was uh, cutted and already not alive. Here is Rotsena and uh, now using PTL Pro we will, um, I will show you how to measure leaf area of uh, at least one piece of leaf of Rotsena. Um, Yes, maybe this method, it will not go for everything and for all the method, all the leaves, but at least you will have this idea how it's possible to measure. When you have, let's say, a tree or a plant and you can cut the leaf, you can use this method. So this is an ordinary paper, A4 paper. I, I, I did a one cut and now I just place my uh, paper around this this um, around this um, leaf so basically you will have something like this so uh, li like this image when the leaf is um, surrounded by white color and this white color it helps to uh, have a good segmentation 
Then you need to calibrate in uh, calibrating plate next to your leaf. You can use either this or or we have even someone else who would like to join. Okay, it's Mercy. Yes, Mercy, it's final five minutes, but thank you so much for coming to us. So we are measuring uh, leaves of Dracena non-destructively, and I'm trying to explain how quickly to do this. So I cut the paper and I am uh, creating the background um, for, for proper segmentation. So we will have this leaf um, calibrating plate. And now you will see everything in my, in my uh, photo, I hope. Uh, give me a second. Yeah, it's quite, quite complicated. Maybe it will not work perfectly, but anyway, I will show you. So open the camera. Here, what you see, I hope you also see what, what I can see. I mean, this is the idea which you can uh, apply for trees and for other parts uh, of uh, plant and for other plant organs. So now you see this photo and here it is. This is the area of leaf which has been captured non-destructively and we didn't cut this area, we just use uh, this background, white background, as a separation, which helps to, um, which helps algorithm to measure more precisely. And if we will touch it now, let's touch and see what will be. So here the segmentation is quite nice, so we don't need to go to extra, but let's just say, and maybe go to extra segmentation, another one. Yeah, it's still fine, you see, you can see visible um, sitting uh, point 51 and this one is um, 1776. So you see it's still sitting square centimeters, the only thing is a little bit um, deeper cutting of the background or not. So that's why um, in your actual work you can choose what you need. And then you can measure the length, you can measure the width, just touch one screen, a touch point, another point, and here you are. And the same here or here, whatever you need. Uh, and uh, yeah, and even you see, we have captured extra, uh, on this photo, we have even captured extra leaves, small leaves. So you can do the same even with this leaf if you need. So. Yes, now, uh, final bit, uh, we saved everything today. We saved everything, so here you see the uh, savings, the savings which we uh, did today is our tomato and our apples, and this apple is so juicy and taste, and this tomato, yeah, so everything is saved, and this is the historical track of our uh, PTL Pro. So thank you so much again. I want now to stop the webinar. The only